Welcome to Nina G Cooks. I'm just gonna... I used to think of hamburgers as like something you can only have when you're out, but now I'm like, let's just have burger night at home, you know? Like, let's like get some really nice chuck and um, some McCain fries and some sick toppings and make burgers at home. So that's what tonight is all about. And I'm gonna give you the basics of a burger, which is super simple. And then I'm gonna give you my favorite special secret ingredient that I learned a few years ago and I never make a burger without it anymore. Okay, what are hamburgers? Hamburgers are like the, what are those little like babies um, that fly around on the Renaissance paintings? Cherubs? Burgers are like cherubs of the food world. Like just picture a little burger like flying with little wings on one of those Renaissance paintings. Wouldn't you just love to see that? I would love to see that. So, okay, so obviously we're doing egg just to keep the patty together. We did shallots because we had some in the fridge. You can do onion, we're doing salt, we're doing pepper. We're not doing any bread, but you obviously can. I've also heard of goat's cheese being like such a good ingredient, which I don't have any of right now, but I would definitely go for that. And then um, some Worcestershire, uh, I don't know how to say that. Uh, some Worcestershire sauce. And my favorite secret ingredient that my buddy John gave me four years ago, capers. Yes, my friends, capers. They're just like briny and moist and they just give that burger like that extra little je ne sais quoi that a burger needs. I did about two tablespoons because that's what we had left in the container. I would start with maybe one your first time, see if you like it and then you can do a little bit more the next time if you really loved it. I love it, so I do two tablespoons. What you want when you're getting a burger, ideally, is you want ground chuck. If you can't get your hands on any ground chuck, just look for the ground beef that has the highest fat content. This is a little Jamie Oliver trick. Once the burger has seared on one side, you flip it, put on a little bit of mustard, whatever mustard you like, hot mustard, Dijon mustard, flip it again after two minutes and mustard again on the other side. Oh my God, I think this is like the best burger I've ever made. It's just so juicy with those capers in there and that mustardy taste. It's just perfect. Okay, Luna. You gotta tell us what you think of our burger. <laughs> 